someone can come and touch your hair and tell you, Madam, your hair is nice. <laughs> so you can imagine the kind of students I had. They were stubborn. So. But one thing is, one lady surprised me one day. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted to go to the dining hall. So I was at the dining hall and then I realized someone was hugging me. Hey, a student. A student. I don't know her. Hey, hey what's up, wonderful viewers? It's your girl, Efia Kimura here. And I'm back with another video. You're welcome to my channel. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any video from here. Today, I'm here at University of Education, Winneba Kumase Campus, now Amsterdam, my own university. And I'm in my final semester of my four years of academic education here. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all students back to campus and most especially to my dear level 400. In today's video, I'm here to have a little chat with our dear level 400 about their internship program, how their internship went. Some of us didn't get, didn't get the chance to teach during our pre-internship program and have never taught before. So we're going to have a little chat with them uh, when they were first introduced to teach and so many more. So stay tuned and enjoy it. Let's go! Please, what's your name? Okay, my name is Rita. Rita Awini. Rita Awini. Rita Awini. Awini. Yeah. Please, what program are you reading here? Um, hospitality. Bachelor of Science in Teaching and Hospitality. Okay, please. And what uh, subject uh, were you teaching at your school? Um, for the internship, I'm yeah. supposed to teach um food and nutrition. Food and nutrition. But is it by force? Not really, but that is what I'm doing, so I have oh, okay. to. But because of certain conditions, the English teacher wasn't there and here and there. So I added English to it. You added English to your food and nutrition? Yeah. Okay, so uh, what school did you have your internship? Um, you have your internship? Sorry. New Snaps College. Where is it located? Um, Takradi. Takradi. Anaji. Anaji. Oh, okay. Rita, um, have you taught before? Yeah. Or oh, during the internship program, you got no, the chance no. to teach? Actually, I was organizing Saturday classes for some students from way um, back in the house. Yes, or yes, yes. Way yes, back yes, in the yeah. house. Okay, so, so you've taught before. Yeah, I have that uh, experience. A full experience in teaching. Okay, so it wasn't a new thing to you when you were first introduced to the class to teach. No, really. You see, Saturdays are different from Monday to Friday, so this one becomes a very bit difficult because Monday to Friday is a very uh, what do you call it? Busy day Busy and day. Uh, the teaching to it was very tough. Unlike Saturdays, it's once a while. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. You know, in internship, uh, we have a supervisor that is a lecturer who comes from the university to supervise you there, supervise your teaching. Uh, how was it when your supervisor came around? Hmm. Did he call you or it was a surprise visit? Like that? Okay, he called me that he'll be coming, but he didn't come. At the actual date. Okay. So, but he informed me that he's coming. Mm. So I was prepared. Okay. Was you prepared. had one supervisor or two supervisors? One. one. I had two who were supposed to come, but I had only one supervisor. You had only one supervisor. Okay, uh, Rita, what was, uh, what was your relationship with the students who were teaching and the staff in that school? Hmm. Okay, the form ones, I took form one, form two, and form three. Hey, Therefore, wow! Yeah, that is it. Why? Uh, um, full madam. I have to. <laughs> I have to. Okay. Um, the form ones, actually, they are the challenge. You see, they are now getting the concept of yeah. the food and nutrition. So, it was, to them, it was very difficult. To but them, it was very difficult. The form twos, the form threes, they are familiar with this. So it was normal. Okay, and I hope uh, a student never gave you a tough time in class. Um, not really, not, not really. really. I was very friendly, very open to them. Even some people tell me they are personal uh, oh. life. Um, sorry, yeah. Okay, what was the students' perception about the subjects you were teaching, the food and nutrition? Like, mm. did they see that maybe, was it a, was it a mixed school or no, single No, it's, it's a JHS. A JHS. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, yours was JHS. Yeah, JHS. Okay, what was their perception? Did they say, oh, food and nutrition for only um, girls or, I mean, I know how to cook, so. I actually, they were thinking it's all about cooking. Uh -huh. It's all about eat, cook, cook, cook eat. Cook. So I changed that concept. Oh, I told them it is far beyond that. Okay. So during the teaching, they understood that it's not all about going to the kitchen and bringing out nice dishes. No. Okay, it's Richard. Just a little uh, advice for them. Uh, those who are the continuous students are yet to go for their internship program. Okay. Um. 
it's not easy it's not difficult to but what i can say is just be bold be be yourself be yourself be yourself be, be yourself. who you are be free yeah be free with them and try to gain the respect of the students and then as time goes on you love them you love to, you love teaching it's a nice experience. it's a nice experience so guys thank you so much Rita thank you as well You're welcome uh, okay I have here with me another final year student the please can you please introduce yourself okay I'm Johnson Yeboah Johnson Yeboah popularly known as Pastis QP graphics <laughs> you know the name please yeah <laughs> you can follow him on Instagram sure okay uh, okay uh, Pastis Johnson what program are you reading here management BSc management education BIC management education. Yes. Uh, Pastors, please, how did you have your internship program the school? Um, in career tech tech. Yeah, in, in career, career tech tech. tech. Yeah. Where, in career, where can you find in career tech tech? In Achuma, uh, in Achuma, in Achuma, in the Ashanti region. In the Ashanti region. In the Ashanti region. In Achuma, in the Ashanti region. Sure. And what were you teaching? The subject you were teaching? Uh, business management. Business management. Sure. Okay. Have you involved yourself in any former teaching process before any form of oh sure teaching. like i once did my attachment in a certain primary school oh, okay you've yeah. taught before sure sure oh. but but then i taught ict you taught ICT. not like you see primary school they but are you've not taught before. sure 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 you've taught before yeah. okay but you've never taught an shs before yeah and primary. how was it when you were first uh, introduced to an shs students to go and teach that was your first time in an <laughs> SHS class, they say, Pastor, this is your class, so take them for business management. That was the life. Oh, you see, you see, for the first time there, it will be there. The, ten the tension will be there. Okay, and first then, time tension. Yeah, but as time goes on, no, like, it was cool. It was cool. But you know one funny thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> you me. see, the time we went there, like, mm. the earlier stage that we went there. So I, went, I, I realized a certain class was empty. So mm. I wanted to go there and then... Engage do some students. introduction and then we do one or two things and then immediately when i was approaching the class i heard one guy say sure, no coin <laughs> and i said in my head say, sure. <laughs> and then i just went back <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay uh, so pastors what was um, how was your relationship with the students and the staff at that school you see for you to like for you to be happy in the school you have to be like establish a certain rapport with the students, mm -hmm. the fellow interns, and then mm -hmm. the staff, your mentor, and then the other staff. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So, so were you that open where sure, the students sure, easy sure, to sure. approach you? <laughs> but one thing is, one lady surprised me one day. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted to go to the dining hall. So, I mm -hmm. was at the dining hall, and then I realized someone was hugging me. Hey, a student. A student. I don't know her. Hey, so, pressure, I was no. very disturbed. <laughs> Thanks, you know. For, for me, should I hug back or I should... <laughs> avoid her okay so, so i didn't know what to do sure oh. i didn't know what to do so i just hug back for a few minutes and then hey teacher nia <laughs> teacher nia i the point okay so how uh, <laughs> during your supervision uh, uh, period how was it like when you when you heard your supervisor is coming hmm. was it a uh, one supervisor or there were two? Oh, there were two but they came one after the other one after the sure. other sure and then the first one who came i knew this lecturer the lecturer was very straight. You see, the educational lecturers, you know, mm -hmm. they yeah, know well, everything they about know education, any, uh -huh. so they will be very straight when you are when teaching. When you are making mistakes, they can sure, pinpoint sure, it sure, out. Sure, sure, <laughs> okay. And then, the tense was there at first, and then, like, boom. One, that, one thing that saved me was, like, a, a certain student asked me a question, and then, like, I answered the question to the student, and then I saw the lecturer nodding his head. Mm -hmm. And then... You know what you're doing? You're more no? The film was coming, so that was what kept me moving. Okay, sure. Okay. That's nice. So that's nice. okay. Did the student ever give you a tough time in class? Maybe he or she asked you a question. Speech, this question, the master, I don't know. Oh, not really. Not, not really. really. No. But there's one guy who always wanted to, I, I like, be controversial. Mm. He would be asking certain questions which would never be related to mm. what we are even learning. Uh -huh, okay, so and what was the student's perception that in business management, business management, the, uh, me, I don't like, like, what was their perception about the subject? Sure. We, we all have the subject that we are interested in. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you see, business management consists of, like, a lot of, it involves a lot of reading. Yeah. And then we, some of the students, we don't like reading. Most especially so, business students. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we only like the accounting and then the elective math and then yeah. the other stuff. So, 
Some of them liked it though, but others too they didn't like it. Oh, okay. Sure. So, Pastis, thanks for your time. Okay, can you give a little advice to the uh, what do you call it? Continuous students who are yet to go for their internship. <laughs> Any advice for them? For advice, there. <clears throat> Like it will depend. It will depend on you. Yeah, yeah. So you have to establish a certain rapport with your mentor, your mentor, your supervisor, your student, the students, so and then free. sure, oh, okay. you have to uh, like you should be free with them. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, okay. Sure, so sure. quick pass this. Thank sure. you. Thanks for your time. For your oh, graphics, yeah. link up. Okay, guys, I have here with me another level 400 students. Please, can you introduce yourself? My name is Sophia Nasab. Before she introduced herself, she's a YouTuber as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, please, let's go. My name is Ophel Nasab. Ophel Nasab. Yes. Ophel Nasab mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yes. Ophel Nasab on YouTube. Uh, please, what program are you reading here? I read Catering and Hospitality Education, Bachelor of Science. Bachelor of Science. Yes. Okay, please, Um, what school did you have your internship? I had my internship at Sam Tet Oxford Senior High School. Oh, please, where is it located? Dunkwao on Ofen. Dunkwao on Do you know that? Yeah, I know Dunkwao, but I've never been there before. <laughs> okay, um, uh, what subject were you teaching? I taught... Um, Did an SHS? Yes, SHS. Okay. I taught food and nutrition, food and nutrition and management and living. Two, two yes, subjects? Two subjects. Wow. Okay, uh, before that program, mm -hmm. uh, did you get the chance to teach or you the entire during the pre internship program or you've taught before? I haven't taught before. That was my first experience. Wow. And how was yeah. it like when you were first introduced to the class as the Madam Madame Ophelia is here? How was Seriously, it? Seriously, like? I was a bit nervous because mm -hmm. the very first day I got to the school I was asked to teach. Wow. I had no the lesson. first day, no observation. Fe nothing. Wow. Nothing. The first day I got there I went to the administration, they showed me my mentor and she took me to class to teach. To teach? Yes. You weren't prepared? And then, yes. And then oh. she was there observing. But it was normal. After five minutes time, I got okay. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I learned that uh, the internship program, supervisors mm -hmm. will come there to supervise yes. you. And how was that when you were supervising your head? That your supervisor is coming and during the supervision process, how was it like? Seriously, I don't want to talk about that. Why? <laughs> it, was, it was very hectic. Why? I yeah. wasn't aware my supervisor was coming. Why? He didn't call you. He didn't call me. I I had two supervisors. Yeah. Yes. They okay. both didn't call me. The first one that came, I was it was a Monday morning. I was there and then I got a call from other colleagues from other schools that the supervisor says we should all meet at one school. So you moved yes. from your school? I moved from my school to, to another school. school. Yes. Wow. And do you know that's what surprising thing? No. I taught business students. Wow. Who's a nutritionist? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most interesting part in an uh, 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 internship program. You can so be called to move from your school to another school and be no teaching option. different students yes. all together. <laughs> oh, wow. I have no option. I have to do this. Okay, Ophila, what, uh, what was your relationship for? Your relationship with the students and the staff at that school? My relationship with them. Were, it was very cool. I I wanted the students to respect me, so yeah. I also respected them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. I wanted everything to respect you. Well. Even car. though my students were grown ups, <laughs> some were even more grown than me. Why? Was it a, it's a private school? Oh, okay, yes, okay. It's a private school. Yeah. So that's how it was. And the teachers? And I think the teachers. It's my former school. Yeah, you, were, you that one you respected yourself. You didn't want to go. It's my former school, and oh, some okay. knew me already. So. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. It became normal. Okay, then yes. I want to ask you this question. What was the students' perception about the subject you were teaching? Did you say oh, catering, mm, uh, food and nutrition? I don't like that subject or something like that. I don't think a home economic student will say she doesn't like food and nutrition. Okay. Besides, everybody eats food. So okay. They enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. And lesson. maybe from how I taught you. Okay. <laughs> then you're a good teacher. Very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, did a student ever give you a tough time in class? No. I think it was one girl who wanted to, but she couldn't. Why well, you stopped there? Or I stopped her. <laughs> I stopped. He said, "Hey, don't come and give me pressure." Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Uh, I said that the first, the first time she entered the class, she wanted to put up some disrespectful behavior. So I just intentionally ignored her for some minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh wow. So she, and I was really vibrant with the other students. So she felt ignored, and then okay. she later came back by herself. 
Okay. I didn't fall okay, Ophelia, I want yes. you to give uh, the uh, continuous students who are here to go for their internship with my little advice or some some tips be that they should <laughs> learn. Some I just, tips. I just will tell them they should be very confident with whatever they will do when they get to the field. Okay. And they should really prepare very well before going to class. And their respect should be very mutual. Mutual. Yes. If you want them to respect, respect you, you, you respect, respect them, them as well. Back. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So. Uh, please, thank you, Ophelia. Thank you. Uh, Ophel Nassab. <laughs> the name? Ophel Nassab. Ophel Nassab. I it on YouTube. Nassab. Yeah. Okay, so please subscribe to her channel. Thank you, Ophelia. You're welcome. So, guys, today I have here with me Innocent K. Boateng. Hey, guys. Innocent here. And welcome to Ophelia Kimura's channel. <laughs> okay, Innocent, you're going to start it right away. Uh -huh. Innocent, what program are you offering here? Information Technology Education. Information IT. Technology IT. Education. Yes. Where did you have your internship program? Akomadan Senior High School in the Offensive North in the Ashanti region of Ghana. Okay, Innocent, have you taught before? Uh, taught before? Actually, professionally, no. I've not taught professionally before, but in other settings, I've actually taught, but not in the school setting. Not in the school yes. setting. Okay, so uh, what subjects were you teaching? Uh, IT, of course, so IT. ICT. <laughs> ICT, you're teaching <laughs> yeah, ICT, okay. Teaching you said IT. you've never taught uh, formally before, so formally, yes. uh, how was it when you were first introduced or given the chance or the opportunity to teach? How was the feeling like? Uh, actually, it was a bit... You know, I'm a very shy type, so it was kind of very you? shy, especially when you get you. to. Hey, please. <laughs> especially when you get to like a new environment, it was new people all together, so it was quite very shy, and I was quite anxious. But like I said, I've taught in other fields before, so it wasn't anything like a big deal. Okay, yeah. uh, I learned the internship program. Supervisors comes there to supervise you, what you are doing in the school, mm -hmm. and supervise your teaching. How was that period like? That period of supervision. Uh, according to the predecessors, they made it look a bit. Um, <laughs> yes, very humorous. <laughs> but you see, uh, it depends on your supervisor. And the two supervisors that I got, they weren't that very humorous as the predecessors made oh, it okay. like so it wasn't anything a big deal like it was feel free do your thing and get your marks oh okay yeah. so what was your relationship with your students and also the staff oh that's um i would leave it to you though that you go to akmar and senior high school but uh, i see teacher papa pa, pa, <laughs> so like it was cordial very friendly and then they i'm sure they, they would love to have me back I, i'll be i'll be coming back for them yeah. Okay, okay, that's nice. And what was the students' perception about the subjects you were teaching? Um, the perception, they, they have this weird perception about ICT. In that, anytime I go to class for the first time, like they will ask me why are they studying ICT, whilst they will not be writing it in WASI. Yeah, so you don't write ICT they have that in negative um, perception about ICT. So I think it's high time like we try to educate our students on the study of ICT. Yeah, they have a very wrong perception. perception. They like they're not going to write it in WASI, so no, there is so no they need don't for us like to study. studying ICT. Yeah. Okay, but ICT helps. Yeah. Okay, uh, did a student ever give you a tough time in class? Maybe ask you a question you weren't familiar with or like any? Uh, it was, I remember twice. Um, one was something that i didn't know but then you know as a teacher you have to make a room for that so i gave it to them as an assignment you that gave is it to it. Them as i'm an assignment. exposing all teachers today <laughs> and the other one it was something that has been removed from the syllabus but this lady had learned it from as jhs and it was kind of an argument but then i had a way to sort it it wasn't anything okay do you have any advice for uh, the continuous students who are about to go for the internship program uh those yeah 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 just just feel free you know it is it is your thing don't listen too much about what we will say everyone has his own experience and your experience will be different so you don't really have to rely on the experience of other people just that some of the things are very similar but just feel free do your thing don't guess it's not that hoodious okay so just feel free and go and do your thing Okay, thank you, Innocent, for your So, um, go to the Pia Shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> subscribe to your channel. Guys, subscribe, I'll see okay. you on my channel. Peace out. Okay.